Okay, well, we'll be looking forward to that. Thanks so much, Dan. They've become familiar faces during this pandemic, but you probably don't know their names. ABC4 Sarah Martin introduces us to the American Sign Language interpreters working through the COVID 19 pandemic here in Utah. They're unsung heroes during this crisis, interpreting for a community that's forgotten far too often. Our ASL team here in Utah is special because it's made up of both hearing and deaf interpreters. I think that one of the hardest things for me in Trenton has been our wardrobe. Our wardrobe is not made for this much TV. Trenton Marsh and Clay Anderson have worked together and advocated for ASL interpretation for years. Trenton is deaf and Clay is hearing. Jennifer Harvey interpreted for both of them during our interview. She's also on the team. Trenton and I have been on motorcycle trips together, <laughs> so that counts. Trenton describes Clay as a great dad and a cowboy. Clay says Trenton is an every rider. He rides bikes and UTVs and anything else he can. They say their friendship makes interpreting in tandem possible. People often will refer to captioning and wonder why captioning isn't sufficient. My response to that and to you as well would be have you ever tried to just follow something fully by captioning? Not everything is captioned, and they say it's rarely captioned accurately. And then in emergency communication, those things are urgent, and the information needs to get out often, and it doesn't reach to the deaf and hard of hearing community through captions until much later. The other thing to think about is the language barrier. Many people in the deaf community are not proficient in English because it's a second language for them. And so things that are really important or urgent, we want to make sure that that's clear and it's provided in their native language. In the past, ASL interpreters might have been called in for a single day or event, but COVID-19 has created a space for continuous interpretation and a demand from the general public. It does come with a sense of accomplishment that we've done the right things that we've reached out to the right people. And it's really amazing. Doing this often, I think, has allowed our work to deliver the information, a, a stronger product. Trenton Clay said that at a recent press conference, because of a slight scheduling issue, there wasn't an ASL interpreter present. And people noticed, people in the general public who didn't even need interpretation asked where they were. They said this gives them a lot of hope that ASL speakers will have better access to information and representation in Utah in the future. Reporting, I'm Sarah Martin, ABC4 News.